The case was last adjourned due to absence of two of the accused persons. The first and the second accused person were absent at the resumed hearing Thursday. However, both defense and the prosecution counsel, Maxwell Kim and Chris Umar, are you on bail application before Justice Gideon Kurada. Because of the fact that we were served just the night before the bill application was to come up, uh, we needed uh, time to be able to respond to the issues that were raised in the counter affidavit that the state filed. Uh, so we were able to do that and uh, today the matter came up for the bill application. So what happened today? Uh, the accused persons were able to move, the first and second accused persons were able to move the application for bail. We did inform the court also that we have been able to serve the third and fourth accused persons through substituted means by publication in two uh, national dailies. <clears throat> the 4th of October to rule on the bail application. Uh, well, as you are aware, on the last adjourned date, uh, we had informed you that uh, uh, this matter actually came up and uh, it was supposed to be for mention, but uh, because of the fact that uh, two of the defendants were not in court, you know, we couldn't mention the matter. You recall the last time we were in court, the court adjourned for today. Uh, for the hearing of the bail application and also to allow us to uh, serve the third and fourth defendants uh, in the charge. Sheikh Ibrahim Zazaki, along with his wife and two others, are standing trial over alleged aiding and abating criminal arrests, amongst others, against Kaduna State Government. Sanagar Bahasam, Liberty News.